Hello everyone. So this is our project for today. A uh, clover lip uh, necklace. And I hope you're going to enjoy this. And all the materials needed are on the screen. So come come and join me making this. Gather all your materials and let's get it started. This is the first block I made. I'm thinking of make a few pieces and then connect each other but then I decided to to go all the way so no need to to make block after another so let's see how it goes and come and join us guys thank you for for watching this video and so as you can see I'm picking up four beads the 4 mm beads and make a circle <clears throat> so guys i hope uh, the video is a little clearer now and although i'm a little bit you know i'm a little bit slow in uploading but then thank you so much that you are there supporting my video and thank you so much because i reached uh, over a thousand now and i would I'm waiting for my watch hour because I'm still lacking. <laughs> lacking of watch hour. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but anyways, you are not obliged to finish the video. But I'm just hoping that you finish the video. So okay. So what I'm doing now is reinforce the 4mm. And then put one seed beads in the center. And then make sure to hide the, the thread in the center so that it's not obvious and I will going to fix this later on so the next thing I'm going to do is pick up 11 O's put in between the four uh, mm's yeah I just follow the video in there and a little slow this is how it look like when I put the seed beads in the center so it's just I'm overwhelmed actually guys because of your support and I'm just hoping that I get more subscriber down there if you enjoy this video please subscribe I know it's too early to say or to ask for your subscription but it's um, it's appreciated now now we're going to do a herring bones if you know your herring bones definitely this is very easy for you if you don't let know yet how to do the herring bones just let me know and i i going to make a video for a tutorial for herring bones so this time on uh, the the needle is passed through the 11 o which is connected to the 4 mm and just now i picked up two 15 o's and bring them down and needle pass through back down the 11s and again pick up two 15 o's this time the needle going up through the 11s and the one 15 we added earlier after that we are ready to our next herring bones which is the second row so pick up another two seed beads and the needle pass through the one 15 and then after that cross over to the to the other 15 and bring the needle up through two seed beads so that's how we're going to do the herring bones we need to do it five times and then connect to the next 11 again and we do the same thing until we finish the whole block ganyan lang ng ganyan ng herring bones two seed beads at a time you always uh, start with four actually in the herring bones 
but this time it's different. So yes, that's the thing. Right things to do. So, so your tension is very important here. Not so tight. Not not so loose also. And now I think this is the last last picking up or not yet. Sorry guys, sometimes I'm mumbling. I have no mic at all. So, it's a little bit low forgiveness for that as well. So, if you done, if you're, if you done your, how much mom in one, two, three, four, five. Okay, we're done the five. Now, needle through the eleven that in between the, the four mm. So this is the thing. Okay, now we need to pick up another two fifteens again. Then pass through the eleven. And then pass through the existing eleven. This time we're going to start on a, a new herring bones. So uh, pick up another two seed beads, then bring down to the eleven and one fifteen. Then cross over again to uh, the next fifteen and bring the needle up to the eleven again and to the fifteen. So, and then continue to do this two times. This time, we're going to create the connector, which is two lines of herring bones. One uh, 11O and two lines of he herring bones again. Please continue to watch. Thank you so much. See you in a while. is very important here guys now I finish the two line of herring bones I pick up uh, 11 o bring it down and then pick up another 2 15 o and then needle pass through the 11 o we just added and to the 15 o also down below then cross over to the next uh, 15 o's back to the 11 and up to the 15 o's at the top do one more line of the herring bone and then connect to the existing 11 o again and do the same thing
the both side of the the what do you call this the four mm we have pipes and then the other side both side which is the connector we always have the two herring bones one uh, 11 and two herring bones the connector here is the 111 at the top so guys just continue doing this and i come back in a while
so we almost finished one block this time we're going to connect the herringbone we just did and the and the first herringbone we did earlier so all we have to do is uh, needle pass through the first herringbone we did earlier going down going up and we pull the needle up and then put the need needle to the next seed beads which is the 15 o's and back to the and back to the 15 that we just added earlier so just reinforce a bit and then pull a little bit so that the the thread won't show so this is how it look like and after securing both end we're going to position the needle and the 11 o's which is our center or the connecting point this time we're going to make a chain using right angle wave So I'm done with the chain. This time I'm going to start again. How to how to uh, create the clover leaf again? So this time we do the same thing actually. Pick up to 15 o's, down to the 11, and then pick up another to 15 o's. This time we go. It's going up to the 11 and to the 15 115 and that's how the way we're going to create the the herring bones we we need to make it so that so that it's easier for it's easier for me actually so that's how to do it it's very easy isn't it so we continue doing the herring bones 